We're now going to position for a MRI brachial plexus. The patient's going to be laying supine, head first, flat on their back. We're going to be using the eight channel cardiac coil, which allows for parallel imaging. You want to position about two fingers above the sternal notch. Okay, so for the brachial plexus, if it's a unilateral study, which is only one side, so for example, if we're scanning the right side, you would want to shift the patient to the left side for that right side to be center of the coil and vice versa. You're going to attach the anterior piece and you want to ensure that the anterior and posterior pieces are matching to provide optimal signal. You want to ensure that the cables are not touching the patient. That can cause burns. You want to ensure that the arms are actually in anatomical position for this study as the brachial plexus nerve runs from C3 to T2. And you want to cover from humeral head to humeral head. You're going to provide the emergency ball to com communicate with the technologist, headset to listen to music or communicate with the tech, Okay, you're going to position again, two fingers above the sternal notch. Align the alignment light. Make sure that they're either centered or right or left side. Landmark and advance to scan.